One year ago this week, the baseball career of Tony Conigliaro ended when a fastball struck him over the eye. Now the outfielder struggles with the memory of that night and the agony of a comeback. Sports editor Howard Cosell has the story. Conigliaro, now 23 years old, was on the verge of becoming a superstar for the Boston Red Sox when he was hit on the side of his head by a fastball that crushed his left eye. Now, he sits on a Cape Cod beach where the kids stare at him and ask for his autograph, or he tosses a ball with a friend and talks baseball. It was his third year in the big leagues. Born and brought up in Boston, he was the local hero in his rookie year, 24 homers. 32 in his second year. Last year, 20. Up until the night of the beating, Tony C. remembers that night. He remembers every tiny detail. The night I was hit in August, uh, it was a strange night because just before I get up to bat, a smoke bomb was thrown on the field. Well, as I stepped up to the plate, I had already had one hit that game, and the score was nothing, nothing. And uh, usually when when a pitch is thrown inside, I'm able to get pretty much out of the way, and possibly by jerking my head, the ball will go into my chin. But in this case, the ball uh, chased me. It came at my chin, and as I snapped my head back, my helmet flew off, and uh, the ball hit me directly in the temple. And I, I, re I remember uh, getting hit with the ball, and I, and I never passed out, and I kind of wish I did, because I fell to the ground, and my eyes and my face puffed up, I had my hands over my face. I could barely breathe, and I heard a loud ringing sound, and I thought that uh, chances were I wouldn't make it. And I, uh, I asked God to keep me alive at that point because uh, I knew I was in rough shape. He is determined to become a major leaguer again. He works out each morning. If his eyesight doesn't come around, he'll try to make it as a pitcher. After he was hit, a cyst form burst, left a tiny hole in his retina. He has normal vision now, but no deaf perception. Only recently, Doctors give him the first sign of hope. The hole is contracting. But that awful moment, the days that followed, haunt his life. Uh, baseball was always my life, and there's nothing else in the world I'd rather do than play baseball. All of a sudden, the game was taken away from me. Well, the first four days, I locked myself in my room, and I didn't want to talk to anybody. I had all kinds of telegrams and well wishes from everybody. In fact, six people offered me their eyes. So every time I got down in the dumps, I'd, I'd think back to that night and say to myself, well, thank God I'm alive. Yeah, well, it's that time now. Time you've all been waiting for to see that Red Sox slugger come up here and sock it to you. Watch you all to give him a big round of applause as he comes up to the stage. Here he is, Tony C. thousand miles I roam just to make this dark my home yeah I'm sitting on the dock of a bay Tony C sings for a living now he likes it says it pays the bills but he'd rather play baseball he has appeared in nightclubs in Boston and on Cape Cod like this one and he is always instant success the baseball fans come because they remember him. The girls come because he sings sad songs and because he is six feet three inches and dark and handsome. But Tony C. waits for the hole in his eye to heal and for next year when the Boston Red Sox head south for a new season. And Tony C. gets a brand new chance to become a big leaguer.